Alright, Lando, so as announced this morning, we have a new Epic Raid coming out at the end of the month. The Awakened version of Yuha Bark is probably going to have like 50 million HP. So this is going to be a fun event to try and tackle and use some of our more powerful characters. And this time around, we have a great selection of bonus characters, actually. We have a lot of really powerful bonus characters to use here. And that's what we're here to talk about today. In case you are new to the channel, any character you see here that is a bonus for a new Epic Raid, in this case, the Awakened version of Yuha, that means they are guaranteed to return in the month of November. So every character you're seeing here is going to come back within the next three or so weeks. So if you are someone that potentially wants one of these characters, let's say, for example, Spirits are there with you as a Shiro, then maybe you might want to start saving your orbs now. And considering end of month is a premium banner, it should be quite easy to save your orbs. So to make it easy on ourselves, what we have here is an infographic of all the characters that we know are set to return. So first, we have the obviously new end of month banner, then we have the individuals, and then we have the confirmed reruns, that being the Safwe banner. And let's quickly, right from the get-go, talk about Thousand Year Blood War. Now, what you will notice in the bonus list of characters there was no Thousand Year Blood War character featured. So why exactly do we have these three characters here? Now, as we all are aware, Thousand Year Blood War Round 15, featuring Yamamoto, Yuha, and also Aizen, they came out at the end of the month of July. Usually, a character returns after three or so months. And if we go by last year, last year's part two of the anniversary was Spirits Off and With You Round 2, Untold Stories Round 1, Fishing Yamamoto, Shinsui, and also Jushiro. Well, last year, they returned around late November, so it's a good reason to believe that Thousand Year Blood War Round 15, Yamamoto, Yuha, and also Aizen are also likely to follow that schedule, returning sometime late November. And at the same time, it also lines up perfectly. Not to give any spoilers, but if you are obviously watching the Thousand Year Blood War anime, there is is a pretty big fight that does contain Yamamoto that's going to happen in the next couple of so episodes. And if we go by last year, this banner returning sometime late November is almost going to perfectly line up with the fight that we are about to witness in the anime, including this particular Yamamoto. So it just makes most sense. This is an assumption. They aren't currently featured on the bonus characters, but what we do know is that every month we do get a Thousand Year Blood War rerun banner. These characters should get a rerun very, very soon. It's either late November or very early December. But I feel like late November just makes perfect sense. Last year's character returned at that time. And again, the fight where these characters are from, mainly Yamamoto, does happen around late November. So this one's an assumption, but they should be back around the 20-something of November. But it really comes down to Caleb if they want to include those characters. Other than that, though, let's talk about the other ones. So, of course, at the start, we have the main banner that is going to be coming out on the 31st, featuring Akon, Kisuke, and also Mayuri. Alongside that, we have the other filler characters here. So we have someone like Shinji, making his first return, I believe. We did have Love return last month in a Brave Selection banner, and now we have Shinji returning this month. Alongside that, we can also see that Lisa is also returning, potentially in a filler banner or a Brave Selection banner. That is yet to be known because we don't know where she could be, but she is also returning. So that's the main reason why you should be skipping these banners too. As we can see here, Akon, Kiyosuke, and Osamayuri are all premium characters. So in like six or so months time, four or so months time, five or so months time, around that time, give or take, they are just going to be thrown into banners like we're going to see now with Shinji, Lisa, and also the love from last month. So that's basically just more reason to start skipping these banners, right? You should be saving your orbs for the limited banners and not spending orbs on this banner right now. Even if they are good, it's just not really worth it. Having said that though, alongside that, we do have obviously Arena Halibo, we have a Biakia, Sajin, Giriko, and also Renji returning on the main banner. Pretty decent characters, but again, they're all premium. You can get them when you want to. Now, that's going to be the main banner that is scheduled to drop October 31st. Then after that, we're going to have the individual banners that are going to last throughout the entire month. Once the main banner leaves, then we get Akon's individual banner with him featuring Yoroichi Soifon, the human killer Retsu, and also Ginrei. Again, character-wise, nothing too special. Like I mentioned multiple times in yesterday's videos, I'm probably going to mention it throughout the entire week. You should be summoning on these banners. Maybe do two steps for Akon's individual because he is a super links or character, but at the same time he's premium, you'll get him later on, and if you do get him later on, you're definitely going to be happy since he is a super links or character. After that, we have Kisuke's individual banner with these characters, Zangetsu, Amagaya, and also Gin. Funny enough, they are giving us Halloween fillers, so that pretty much further goes to show we're not going to get a Halloween banner this year. At least maybe we might get a Spirit Society banner later down the year, maybe at the start of early next year like they did in 2021. So that's not off the table, but as far as getting a Halloween banner close to October 31st, yeah, it's probably not happening. But after Kisuke's banner does leave, we then get Mayuri's individual banner featuring Noritora, Makoto, and also Lily Nets. 
after that, we then get our Safui banner. Now, keep in mind, the Safui banner, I feel like, is most likely going to come out within the first two weeks of this particular month. We might even get news of it in the next week or so, because that's what they usually do. Safui banners usually come out at the start of the month, and then Thousand Year Blood Bowl reruns happen near the end of the month. So, in this case, what we had in the bonus list of characters was the Kenpachi Lineage banner. So, we know they're guaranteed to return. And then, alongside that, we also had a Yamamoto featured as a bonus character. So, they are now officially one year old, and we're going to see that with multiple other rounds where, you know, some of these big banners, like the Untold Stories Round 1 Part 2 of the anniversary from last year, is now going to get put as fillers for other Spirits Alpha of you banners. And we're seeing that in this particular case, since Yamamoto was a bonus, he's very likely, pretty much guaranteed in my opinion, to return alongside the Kenpachis. And if he's returning, that therefore means that Jushiro and also Shunsui are returning. And these three characters still hold up in today's age. I think they're all great, especially Jushiro in my opinion. One of my more favorite Nad characters. And and this overall, as a Sith character banner, is actually quite good. I'm going to skip it, of course, but you know what? If you if you don't have any of these six characters, it's not bad to throw a couple steps to this. Maybe do the discounted steps, because you have six really powerful limited characters all in one banner. That's not too bad. And again, that's most likely going to come out around early November. Just going off of what we had in the last couple of so months. Then after that, of course, Thousand Year Blood Roll, as we already mentioned, should happen around the end of the month. For the most part, we get 1,000 Year Blood Banner rerun every single month, and I guess they didn't want to put these characters with bonuses, many just because because it would have been too easy. These characters are powerful, and if they were bonuses, they would have absolutely destroyed the Yuha Epic Raid. And I guess they want to kind of like surprise us with their return, so that's why they, I believe they didn't put any Thousand Year Blower characters a bonus, nor these characters. Uh, but again, they should be coming back sometime late November, if not definitely early December. But I'm pretty confident with that prediction around end of month November is when these characters are set to return. And then that basically leaves us with these characters. Now what we have been seeing over the last month or two is that we've been getting quite a few Brave Selection banners. Previously Brave Selection banners happened like almost like once every six or so months. They were very very rare banners but we actually I believe got two Brave Selection banners last month. So I think we might see the same thing again. Arena banners are now a thing in the past. Last time an arena banner did return it was basically a hidden arena banner. This disguised as a Brave Selection banner, and we could definitely see the same thing happen this month where we get two Brave Selection banners. I think one of them is going to be an arena-focused banner as we have Kaga Rosa coming back, we have Yami, Arena Kisuke, and also Nelio. That's four arena characters right there that can almost fill up a banner. And then we might have another Brave Selection banner featuring some uh, some really powerful characters, such as this Rukia, Grimja, which is kind of funny because he literally just returns this month. Like, literally less than 15 days ago, he was here, and he's already scheduled to come back. Kind of weird. Lisa might be with them and also artwork as you go. And then that maybe leaves the other characters, such as, you know, Gin, Nanao, Shuhei, and maybe even Yukio, Kaname, and this white Ichigo, maybe even this particular Oko, they might be thrown into just mid month banners, right? We don't know what mid month is going to be, but it's most likely going to feature some of these characters. So this bottom row is basically dedicated to characters that we don't really know what banner they're going to get thrown into, but they're very likely to be thrown as fillers for mid month and also very likely to be sprinkled in two different brace selections banners throughout the entire month so with that said basically a short video that's what you can expect for the month of november in terms of reruns safwi is coming back this time with two banners in one spirits of overview untold stories round one and also the capacity lineage squeezed together into a pretty decent banner we don't know what the other three characters will be very likely to be can't field characters it has yet to be seen who they might be and then again thousand year blood war round 15 should return around late November, and then all these characters at the bottom should be sprinkled into multiple banners throughout the entire month. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know if you are interested in selling in any of these banners. For me, um, I'm skipping everything. <laughs> you know, right now, you should be saving your orbs for end of year, but I definitely know a lot of people will be summoning on this banner if it does drop this month, because they are powerful, they are fan favorites, and I don't blame anyone for summoning on this banner, and hopefully, it does come with a good set of fillers. And you know, the banner is pretty much guaranteed to be better, because it's going to have actual discounts and steps. When this banner first already dropped, it was the anniversary step-up banner, so you had very few discounts and one guaranteed step. At least this time, it's going to have five guaranteed steps and a bunch of discounted steps. Anyway, that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Take care and peace.